In this video, I'll show you how to calculate monthly payments at varying amortization periods. This is question number two. Joe has a $398,000 mortgage. He locks in at 4.3% interest, compounded semi-annually, amortized for 20 years. Question A asks, calculate his monthly mortgage payments. To do this question, we'll need to use the present value formula that's shown below. And to the right of it, we have the variable R isolated. And R in this case represents the regular deposits, which is what we are looking for. Let's write down everything we know so far. We know Joe is borrowing $398,000. So therefore, that is the present value. The present value is $398,000. We're also told that he will be making monthly payments for the next 20 years. The letter N in our formula represents the total number of deposits. So therefore, N is equal to 20 times 12. 20 comes from the 20 years, and 12 comes the amount of months in the year. So 20 times 12 is equal to 240. We also need to find what I is equal to. I is the tricky variable to find in this case, because you'll notice that he is paying monthly, yet the compounding period is semi-annually. So we have to take into account this discrepancy. Normally, when we use the present value formula, the compounding period is equal to when the payments are being made regularly, not in this case. So to calculate I, we need to use a special formula. And stated here, since you're making monthly payments, yet the interest is being compounded semi-annually, there's a discrepancy between when payments are made and when the interest is compounding. As a result, we'll need to find the effective annual rate, then use the EAR to find the effective monthly rate represented as EMR. This will represent the interest I in the PV formula. So to combine the effective annual rate formula and the effective monthly rate formula, which by the way look like this, we end up with this formula right here. So let's figure out what our I value will be specifically in this case. R represents the rate that has been provided M represents the frequency, and that's all you need for this formula. So I is equal to 1 plus the rate, which happens to be 4.3%. And we're not going to use percentage here. We're going to use the decimal version of 4.3%, which is 0.043. M represents the frequency of compounding. It is being done semi-annually, which means twice a year. So therefore, M is equal to 2. 2 over 12 minus 1. Using our calculator, bracket 1 plus 0 0.043 divided by 2 to the power of 1 over 6, 1 over 6 because 2 over 12 reduces to 1 over 6, minus 1. And that gives us 0 0.0035516. 0 0.0035516. This will represent the I value in our present value formula. Now we will plug in these three values into this formula. Now, your teacher might not give you this formula. Your teacher might give you the present value formula. You can solve for R by multiplying both sides by I and then subsequently dividing both sides by this part of the original equation. Plugging these values in, we end up with R is equal to PV, which is 398,000, times 0 0.0035516, all divided by bracket 1 minus 1 plus 0 0.0035516 to the power of negative 240. Now we're going to use our calculator, starting with the numerator. I'm going to multiply this number by that. Remember, this right here is the expanded version of that number, which is in scientific notation. So multiplying this by 398,000 gives us 1,413.55 divided by this whole thing, 1 minus 1 plus 0 0.003516 to 
to the power of negative 240. Close bracket. And we end up with 2467.11. What does this number mean for Joe? This means that Joe will have to pay on a regular basis for the next 240 months $2,467.11 to pay off the $398,000 mortgage he took today. Question B asks, what percent of the total paid is interest? Well, to figure this out, we will need to multiply this number by the number of payments in total. So let's do that. Multiplying this by 240 gives us 592,108. Number right here represents the total amount that he will pay after 20 years. Now that is a whole lot more than what he obtained at the beginning. So to find out how much interest he is paying percentage wise, we need to take this number next and subtract it by 398. This gives us the difference. So taking this number and subtracting it from 398 gives us 194,108. 194,108. So let's just interpret what this number means, 194. That means that he will be paying $194,000 of interest within that 20 year period. What is the percentage of this from 592,108? Well, we're going to take this number and divide it by 592,108. Multiply this by 100 to get the percentage. 32. 0.7% of what he pays will go towards interest. So the person who is loaning this money has just acquired $194,108 in his pocket for being able to loan to Joe $398,000 today. So there you have it. That is how to calculate monthly payments at varying amortization periods. If you found this tutorial helpful, please support our channel by subscribing or by liking this video. If you have any further questions, visit our website at studyforce.com. We're an online service for students seeking free homework help. See you soon.